I'm here with uh, the very famous, the spectacular Grandmaster and uh, chess commentator Maurice Ashley. Welcome to the venue. Are you okay? I'm doing great. It's yeah. fun to be here. It's my first time down here finally. So yeah, having a good time. I really want to hear what your reaction was when you realized Sergei Karyakin was winning that game eight. That was a pretty shocking game, of course. Magnus overpressed, missed some moves. Both of them missed moves. But that's what chess is all about. You never know what's going to happen. And finally, somebody won. So it's like, yeah, please, thank you. And everyone's been talking about how Magnus has looked different, seemed a little different, played a little different. What do you think about his performance so far? I think that Sergei has pretty much out-prepared him psychologically. Whatever he's done, whatever part of Siberia he went to, whatever mountains he climbed, whatever gurus he talked to, he's clearly got inside Magnus' head. He's the tougher player mentally. He's been defending these positions that he's supposed to lose. He's really showing something off the chessboard. Not, to me, it's not about the moves. It's about where he is, the fortitude inside the player. What do you think about today's game? I was looking right now. It, you know, I thought it was a draw the moment I walked in. I thought it was time to leave. But now they're mixing it up, a, a, trying to keep it interesting. Uh, Magnus has very few games left to try to come back. So it, it looks like it should be okay, probably end in a draw. But, you know, anything could happen. Knowing these two players, knowing the history of chess, how do you think this will end, this World Chess Championship? Uh, if I knew that, you know, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> I'd be betting money. But I, I think that right now, Sergey has the edge. He's showing that he's tough. He's hard to beat. Mentally, he's, he's clearly proven that he's the tougher one. And Magnus has to get things right. Somehow, I don't know what he's got to do. Uh, maybe run around New York or something. He's got to figure something out so that he can get back and show what Magnus is. Because he obviously is the best player in the world, but he's not showing it right now. And Magnus has been really popular in the U.S. among uh, Americans. Is that still the case, or are still people starting to root for the underdog, the Russian? Everybody loves an underdog, even if he's from Russia, even here in the United States. It's all about the chess. People want to see new faces all the time. There have been a lot of shocks here in the U.S., as, as you know. Uh, people wouldn't be surprised if the underdog, the unexpected victory happened. So it's whatever. I think it's great for chess. I think it's great when there's chaos. To me, if, it, you know, if it's messy, the better. So it would be messy if Magnus lost, but so much you know, that that's what it is. It would be very deserving of Sergei. And if you were to put money on it right now, who would you put money on to be the world uh, chess champion? I, if it's only a quarter, I mean, I can bet Sergei right now, but I feel as though Magnus still has a lot left in him, so I would not bet anymore.